Hi, welcome to another video review for SimonsVideo.com. My name is Simon Day, and today I'm going to review a very, very exciting application called Artifact by Curio Elements. What this application does is uh, it allows you to paint pictures with another pictures. Uh, when you start off the application, you can choose any kind of background, or they call it canvas. Um, you can choose from people's portrait or a, a very luxurious uh, background like what I have here, a green fuse and blue sky. And uh, you can choose uh, input layer. For me, it's this cat. You can choose mustaches, fangs, or cat ears, or anything to your imagination to make a funny image. For me, I want to make this as an artistic kind of uh, feel. You can even put a baby into the swimming pool or anything of that similar uh, sense. Uh, what this uh, now I'm I'm gonna do is using a paint brush to paint the this cat onto the background using the proper opacity. Opacity is the translucent and transparency. Hundred percent means it's not transparent and the correct uh, paint brush size of your comfort level. Uh, people some people choose. To have larger paintbrush size and then uh, erase some of the edges later or you can paint the edges first like what I do and then paint the internal quickly with a bigger paintbrush um, you can uh, slowly learn the the, the tricks uh, or the skills itself by through practice trial and error uh, until you, you find it uh, comfortable uh, but it is one of the best tools on the iOS device itself Okay, now fast forward a little because it takes some time to actually erase the edges. Uh, what I did here is uh, reduce the opacity to a slightly translucent and use the eraser tool with smaller brush size, zoom in and re erase the edges off. Okay, after you uh, you know make the image looks nicer, uh, you can see that it's really very nice. Uh, but uh, I like to maybe save the copy of this uh, cat flying through air as the canvas first into a camera roll and then load the cat uh, flying through air as the, the background canvas uh, so that I have a backup copy in, in any event the, the application crash which it does happen uh, which I hope the developer can uh, actually fix that on the iOS 4.3.3 on the iPad 2 uh, sometimes it does crash Okay, so now I'm uh, deciding to choose um, a flying uh, wing for this cat. Uh, so using the similar uh, technique, I can actually apply uh, the wings onto the cat itself. Uh, you can do anything from um, you know making larger claws or you know fangs or uh, human face, which is very weird. But I like to make it uh, very very beautiful using this uh, very very nice wings of the swan. Now comes to the pros and cons of this application. First off, this application is one of the most powerful, uh, I would say, photo editing software on the iOS devices. Uh, and there's other, uh, I would say, similar application like Mixo that allow you to put two different images uh, side by side, which is like a collage of images. But it's not as powerful as this one that allows you to clean off the edges that it makes uh, much more, uh, I would say, easier to blend into the background. Uh, however, I hope the developer can also in incorporate other photo editing uh, tools like uh, cropping and uh, brightness, contrast, especially uh, to merge the, the layer onto the background. You need to have matching uh, brightness uh, so that it looks more convincing, <laughs> uh, much like what the Photoshop can do. Uh, to merge the color uh, saturation and all that of the layers uh, that match the background. Uh, other than that, there's also a, a bit of bugginess uh, where sometimes you may crash losing your progress without saving, uh, which which is a little bit tough to handle. It's a bit frustrating sometimes uh, that you, after editing for half an hour and then it crash, hangs, and then you have to redo everything from scratch again. Uh, I, I always do what I do always do is actually save often so that you will not uh, you know uh, be a waste of time after a long time editing. Well, overall, this application is definitely a must-have for uh, photo editing lovers, for uh, photographers uh, who want to do their own uh, photo effects. Right. So 
basically uh, it's about two dollar ninety nine cents on the App Store for iOS, uh, I Universal App, iPhone, iPod Touch, iPad, uh, all at one single price. Right. So thank you very much for watching Simon's video. Have a nice day. See ya. Bye bye. To support for this podcast, please visit simonvideo.com for more podcasts and application reviews. Thank you very much.